Well, how come, Ten Friends? We're doing quick and easy tonight. We've had all that other stuff. We're just in the mood for some spaghetti. Mama's going to make lasagna, but we didn't have lasagna noodles. We've just not went out and done it. Well, next best thing up would be some spaghetti. So, Mama, show them what you're doing there. All I've done is put my noodles in here a little and water up to the level, up to the line, and a little bit of butter, and you can sprinkle some salt in there. I can get here. Yeah. How much you want to put? <clears throat> Just a flavor. Yeah. All right. Dash, dash, dash the salt. And then right here is the holes in here, and this is the end that goes down there. To drain. Take about nine minutes in the microwave. Mama didn't want salads. I made me a quick little salad here with some iceberg and tomatoes. And for salad dressing, I'm using salad dressing because uh, I just want it to be just a little light. Don't want a lot of oil or any of that tonight. Just don't want to go to bed on it. It's a little late. It's been a long day. It's Thursday, but it's been like my Friday with workload, but it's been two days for Huh. So anyway, we've then got Mama done ground, uh, browned the meat and onions. She done it earlier today, and they're over there with the jar of Prego. Nothing fancy tonight, folks. This is just simple supper time. This is just get it on the table, eat it on a Thursday evening. So what are y'all up to? Are you recuperating from Christmas? Hello from Tennessee. Hey, Linda, we're in Tennessee. Hi, John and Mama from Missouri. Well, hi, Linda. Um... Hello from Arkansas. Hey, Kathy. No sound, Kathy. You're the first one to say that. Or, I mean, Martha. You're the first one to say that. I don't know if you could hear me, but if someone can tell her to go out and come back in. Hi, John and Mama. Hey, Caroline. How are you? Hello, John and Mama. Good evening, Brenda. How are you? Hi from Lexington, Kentucky. Hey, Casey. I can hear you. Thank you, April. I get those comments every once in a while. Can't hear you. And I'm thinking a bunch of other people are. And the, so if you do find yourself where you can't hear us, and I find when I'm watching other people, sometimes I can't hear them. I don't know what my hair is up to. Uh, what is that? Sometimes when I can't hear that, I can go out and come back in, and it works fine. Or just scroll up a few things and scroll back down, and then it'll start working. I don't know how they get their sound set up exactly, but I know sometimes that is an issue. Hello from Rainy, New Hampshire. Now, Renee, or Penny, Penny. Penny, we had rain for the past two days, but today we've had some blue skies, but we've had cold. And it's 40 right now, but there's a wind blowing out there a little bit, which makes it seem a lot colder. Hello, John and Mama in Northern Carolina. North Carolina. Well, hey, Dee, how are you? Hey, Deb. Go out and come back in. Help. Yes, James. Thank you, thank you. So, this is a simple salad. I just like a little iceberg. A little bit of Roma tomato, and then I just use salad dressing because you know that's really what this is the JG salad dressing. Uh, sometimes I want ranch, and sometimes I want spice. Tonight, I just want a mild um, salad, and it's a little different than mayonnaise. So, if you're thinking he's putting mayonnaise, no, it's just salad dressing, and it kind of makes me think of a BLT with mayo on it or with the salad dressing on it. In fact, I probably have some BLT, some bacon bits in the refrigerator, but I'm just going with salt and pepper tonight. Salt and pepper. Just table pepper. I'm not even going to ground it, grind it. And when I say I want simple tonight, I mean it. I probably could have done with a blooming sandwich. But I was wanting some Italian... Some red sauce. I was wanting some that red sauce. That's what I've been wanting. Seems like after I eat a lot of mashed potatoes and green beans and all that good stuff, it's so delicious. Then it seems like I want pizza or I want 
spaghetti or lasagna or something like that, just a little off the side of normal southern country cooking. We had lasagna coffee. Some we gotta get us a new um We've got to get us a new, uh, what they call it, pantry list. You all have those basic staples. We need to go through our staples to, look, to, our, to our pantry, do a little organization and a little bit of inventory and you know, make that grand list of things because you use them and you lose them. You know how that is. The, the sauce is already done because it's already boiled. And the noodles will be out in five minutes. Now, folks, I don't know about y'all, but you can't fix a frozen dinner much quicker or a frozen pizza. Frozen pizza took you 25 minutes. This is homemade spaghetti. I'm calling it homemade because it's out of a jar of prego, but that's fine. I don't care if it's to take that shortcut. I made red sauce homemade, what, a month ago, Mama? Well, we don't have to be exact, but it's not been too long ago. Yes. We can hear you, Mama. I said we can go with that. She says we can go with that. But we will um, be ready to eat here in just a few, and that's what I like. I want to come home, get supper, get it done, eat, wash dishes, and move on to something else. And that's what you all want, too. You want those fast, easy meals that just sort of... Um, Get you fed, get the family fed, and then get on to something else. Read a book or watch a movie or something. And the biggest decision you'll have to make all day long sometimes is what's for supper. Wonder why. We do it all the time. You would think that it would just be uh, automatic. But sometimes there's nothing that I think I want. Absolutely nothing. And then other times... I think, hmm, I wait for it all day long. So there's no rhyme or reason for it. We got about four more minutes on those noodles and they're done. That's the beauty of the pasta cooker in the microwave. Um, now it was on sale yesterday, but that was, and that could have some left over. You can check Mama's link. But uh, really and truly, I think it was it's ended. Every month on the last Wednesday, Tupperware ends their stuff, and every month it seems like on the Thursday, people's like, "I need that. <laughs> it's gone." Makes me feel bad because I can't do nothing about it. How's the sauce, Mama? The sauce is hot. See it spinning. Yeah. And we got three. I feel like that little guy on the Sesame Street. Count. Three. Three beautiful men. What are you saying? <laughs> are y'all ready for another holiday weekend? Some of y'all probably don't get off work, but some of y'all, and some of you don't work, but some of y'all are going to have a, probably a three to four day weekend right here. For New Year's. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Do you all remember back in 2020 when we were just thinking, we can get through 2020, we can do anything. And now we're already starting 2024. It's hard to believe. Time flies no matter what. Uh, 2024 is here. And that's just where we are. That's exactly where we are. And uh, we better hold on to our hats because... We'll take a few seconds in 2024 and we'll look up and we'll be going, do y'all realize it's 4th of July already? Woo! And then we'll be saying, in just a few weeks, it'll be Christmas. And that's just how quick. It seems like to, through the 4th, it does go a little slower. It seems like January's a little slower. February's a little slower. If for no other reason, I'll, I'll take those two months for that, just to slow us down a little bit. Then March gets here and we start planting and we start getting ready for outside activities and spring break and Easter and mm, it goes fast folks we were just talking about the holidays will be here before you know it seems like just a few minutes ago and now you're worth the end of them I always think of 
New Year's as being the end of that little holiday work between Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and then New Year's Eve. Uh, and then it's time to start a new year. Let's show some of this right here. Mama got went. Well, she actually didn't go. They actually brought her a bunch of stuff today from the post office. <coughs> Mama's leaving us. All right, Mama. Direct here, because I didn't open any of this. This is one thing. This is from D. Elkins, Robin Line, Los Angeles. And it's a. Uh, what are these, mom pot holders? Yeah, yeah they're double thick. Double thick. Or Trivets, probably. And here is, uh, oh, these would be like a, a table runner. Uh, made it from the table. To put hot stuff, probably, because it's very thick. And you see, that's beautiful. Someone done that by hand. Beautiful work. I think they're very thick, so they're, they're thicker than, uh, and this is from D. Elkins. Oh, here's a note. This might be a hint. I just want to say thank you with all that is going on in the world today. It is so nice to take a break for a little while each day. Come back, Tom. For each day and see something pleasant and positive. Aw. Watching y'all on Facebook is pleasant and positive. I remember when I was growing up, we knew all our aunts and uncles, yes, and cousins and neighbors, most, most of which were relatives somewhere down the line, and we spent time visiting, talking, enjoying each other. I remember those days. Somehow, we let that slip away in our fingers over the years. Watching you all cooking in interest with each other reminds me of some great times I spent with my grandmother, her mama. Oh, I like that mama. She worked magic in the kitchen, usually fixing all my favorites. I was her first grandchild. I was too. Uh, and I know she spoiled me. I can make several of her creations because I would sit and watch her while she worked. The best way in the world to learn is just to get in there and watch. And we would carry a lot of like you carry on a lot like y'all do. You never measure anything. When the, when she would finish, she would say, "Well, I hope that's worth eating." It was perfect every time. Again, I want to say thank you for sharing a little portion of your life with us. I find myself uh, smiling and usually laughing out loud at some point in your video. Oh, thank you. The world needs a little more laughter. It sure does. We could use more laughter. Best wishes for the holidays. Your friend, uh, David Elkins. So it's D is for David. David, well, thank no, you. Well, there's D David and D. P.S. I sent. Oh, Mom says D is the separate. I sent you a little something I made. I hope it is useful. I've always called them hot pads. That's what I said they had to be because these are super. These are wonderful. I mean, that is one. That would hold. And they've got those little knots that'll hold it up. Those are great. Um, something to set your hot kettles on. We had an elderly man in our church when I was young. He was a, a woodworker, and one of the things he would make were wooden looms. My mother got some in, intending to learn how to make these hot pits. So this is made on a loom, but she never did. However, I did and began making them off, uh, um, off and on over the years. When I retired from teaching, I was going to make some to sell for a little fun money. I made several and tried to sell them on Etsy, but apparently my family members were the only ones who liked them or tolerated them. I know the feeling. I knew Mama liked red, so I made, ah. She made these for you, Mama. I know, it ain't that beautiful. The knots were supposed to be uh, heather gray, but against the red, they look silver. No, I think they look gray. I yeah, think they're pretty. They're pretty. <clears throat> If you would prefer a different color, how can you get better than red and gray? Look at that, that's beautiful. That'd be beautiful any time. So again, I uh, hope they're useful. They will be very useful. Thank you. D, you sure D and David? 
Well, David, this is B. I'm sorry. Yeah, this is from David Elkins. Thank you, David yeah. Elkins. And this is from D. Ladder mail. Ladder what? And here it is. This is from D. Ladder milk. And I opened. This is coffee cups. Look at, and this is John three sixteen. Love it. D. Ladder milk. Does she have a note? Uh, no, that's just what, right here, she still what this is. And this one here is, it's the same cut. Let me pull it out here. But it's a different verse. And it says, the Lord is with me like a mighty warrior. Jeremiah 20, 11. Those are beautiful. Beautiful. All right, Mom. I want to turn over on the chew towel. No, you're telling Oh, me. but there you are, Mama. I'm not going to I'm a water bottle holder. Open me for a bigger surprise. Merry Christmas from D. And I'm telling you, look here what a surprise. Was oh, was that in your bottle? That was... And that Mama, here's your water bottle holder. Yeah. Look at that, how beautiful. Look at all of this. Mama can use that when she goes on her trips. I can put that around my neck. And let's look at this beautiful jewelry that they sent. That's a charm bracelet. This is a beaded bracelet. Look, she's ready for all holidays. This is a Christmas charm. This is a church charm bracelet. Things religious. There is, no, this is earrings. Yeah, there's earrings and stuff in the look. This is a charm bracelet and earrings with church symbols on it. Beautiful. And look here, there's I'm just going to tilt you Christmas and 4th of July. Look at that, 4th of July. These are Christmas. A snowman. And this one is pretty. Mm -hmm. That's angels. Mm -hmm. An angel necklace. Yeah. Tell you overdid it. And what a right wonderful here gift. is, these are cute. I don't know if she made these or not. I bet she did. But they're so adorable. And those would be beautiful on the tree. Yeah, and she sent me two bags of them. I just How them. wonderful. Okay, let's get this back over here and I'll get you this other one. And I didn't open up these cards yet. But that's the tag it was. On the box. Well, let's open the card first. And this was my pretty bag that I was at home in. God loves shines in the heart and special people at Christmas and always. Look how pretty. Thank you, Miss Carol Baker. Hope you have a blessed Christmas and a happy new year. Really enjoy your videos. Love me. Uh, releases of all that you do, wish I could be sitting there. Oh, how sweet of you. You make the world a nicer place with all the warm you share, the kind and thoughtful things you do, the ways you show and care. And so these Christmas wishes come with thanks for being you and prayers to that God will fill your life with joy and blessings too. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, and she sent this. This is from Carol Baker, and she sent this box. Mama, can we open it? Oh, yeah, it was in a big box. Oh, and there's a Christmas pot holder. Beautiful. Oh, here's something glass. Oh, it's a big old mug. It says, Be Merry. Uh, it's a dark green with Christmas trees. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, oh, we need that. Um, what a gift that keeps on giving for weeks here is Dukes. Thank you so much, Carol. Now, people know the way to our heart, Mama. They're sending Dukes. And coffee cups. If you know us, you know that's two prime examples of goodness. Mama will go through every one of those cards, and we'll try to share some of those with you next week. 
Click and a little nativity. If you know Mama, she loves any kind of nativity. John and Coffee Time. Y'all are so thoughtful. So thank y'all took time to wrap and buy and send and how wonderful. Y'all are just so kind. Merry Christmas. She has a nice letter here. I feel like you all are family. I, that's my favorite thing that I hear from you all. This is from Bill and Patty Hatfield. P.S. Looking forward to you all, all doing a cookbook. We are too. We can get all that together. I feel like you all are family. You both make us so feel like we are right there with you in your home. If I miss you live, I go back and watch the replay. Thanks for sharing your lives with us. Have a wonderful and blessed Christmas and a happy, healthy new year. I look forward to 2024 with y'all. God bless you both always. Enclosed is a puzzle, she says. And I thought it was colorful and pretty. A few ornaments. Oh, that's a, oh, the ice cream shop. Thank you, Bill and Patty Hatfield. And here's the puzzle. That will be, that'll be fun to work. Look how colorful and beautiful. 500 pieces. Look at this ornament. These are the shiny ones. I that's love the shiny ornaments. Spoon. And that's measurement spoons. And we don't have anything like that. And then this little jewel here, Click and Spice Salt and Pepper Grinders. I haven't seen these. And they got a little holder. We'll put those to use. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, we need that. Okay, and uh, you're going to show all of this, right? Yes, ma'am. And this kind. We just got kind of stuff. Together we blossom. Church of the Nazarene in, um, in Carlton. Is that Carlton, Missouri? I she love a good church all book. The paper, all the pages of some of the recipes that she really likes. These are beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Breads and rolls. Look how pretty these are. Meats and main dishes. Greek tortellini salad. Pineapple salad. Does that look familiar to y'all? Oh, this has got pretzels in it. Look how pretty the outside. Gorgeous. And she's, Together we blossom. She's wrote page numbers and what the rest and the name of the recipe. Of we'll the have time. to try some of these. Oh, that you picked out some good ones. That she really some wrote. of my favorite. Page nineteen: cucumber and, and mustard sauce. Ooh, I'll put that right inside this book. I'll open it up so I can see it. Okay, and this. We'll is, go through those. Well, I've read them and went through them once. But this is all Christmas cards. Some of them may have New Year's wishes on the last ones I got today. But these are just beautiful cards, beautiful writing inside of them. I've sat and read them all, but I'll probably read them all before I put them all up again. But they're just, I just want to thank everybody. I, it'd take an hour to show them them all and look at them, but you just know who sent them. There's is a one is is different. That's pretty, Mom. Thank that. Who is that? Mickey Moore. Mickey Moore. So I said, ain't that? Mama different? loves three D cards. That is so <laughs> different. Just plain. Mama loves all cards, even homemade. With oh yeah, cards. if you took time to make me a homemade card, I could cherish it for sure. But Some I people just, think the homemade ones are the best. Oh yeah, they go through the trouble. But that's a stack of it is, Mom. cards to get and stuff. So it's, I just wanted to thank everybody. That's so thank, we're so thankful. So thankful. There's Mama's Tupperware tree still shining bright. All right, looky here. The spaghetti's ready. The salsa's ready. I'm ready. You ready? And this Duke's. We've got a couple because the guys, uh, California boys sent us uh, four. So I think we've got two of them left. They sent four cards just to like. Let's see if I, I don't know what one was up to. 
Mama could do this all night. So y'all better kitchen's a snack. Merry Christmas. Thank you, guys. Look, at, and there's four, huh? Yeah, I got four, I think. Three or four. You reckon it's a mistake? No, no, they're Dear John and Mama, thanks for brightening our year. We hope you have a wonderful Christmas holiday and a happy New Year 2024. Much love. The California guys, uh, Christopher and Charles. Thank you, guys. Mama has adopted those guys, as the California guys, because they'll send her messages. And then last year, they sent her Harry and David's hot pepper jelly. And she'll say, do I have any hot pepper jelly left that the, that the California guy sent me? And she loves that jelly. So they want her over with, her, <laughs> with red pepper jelly. Uh, they sent you some more stuff before that, though, didn't they? I can't remember. Back in COVID, they sent some stuff. And then they sent Duke's mayonnaise. They sent Duke's mayonnaise. And that won my heart over just getting out of some good dukes. All right, Mom, you ready to eat? I am. We've got a few more, but I'll put some of them up because I had the company coming. But if I didn't show them, I still... You showed it, but oh, I, except the one that broke that night. And I and appreciate all of them and thank everybody for them. They're just wonderful. This is thin spaghetti. I don't want all that. It probably is. Long. This is thin spaghetti. Not my favorite. I don't like angel hair or any of that. But no, this is what we have. No, but it's thin. No, that's good. That's good. Shake it out a little bit so you can put your sauce on there. Mm -mm. You want some homeless on? No. Nope. I don't want any cheese. I just want regular no, oats. I just want regular oh, spaghetti, no bread, no nothing. That'll be it. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful meal. We thank you for these precious hands that prepared it. Lord, we just ask you to bless our bodies with it. Watch over, sleep, and guide, and direct us in all that we do. Dear Lord, we just thank you for all of our family that's here gathered here tonight. And pray you'll be with each and every one of their prayer requests and their needs, dear Lord. We thank them because they're so gracious, dear Lord. And and we love them just because they show up every evening and spend their lives with us as we spend ours with them. And dear Lord, we just ask you to watch over each and every one, put a hedge protection around them during these holidays. Lead God and direct them all, dear Lord, in your precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, Mama, it's, it's time for, I mean, you could have this for a holiday, but it's totally not what we have. It's time to get away from some of that rich food. Yeah. Oh, I mean, sauce is rich, but in a different way than brown gravy. Mashed potatoes and brown gravy. Mm -hmm. I'm just in the mood. I wish I'd had the lasagna, and I still think it's in there. I just think. I wish we had My the... eyes fell in there or something. <laughs> I didn't see it either, Mama. But it's full in there. You keep it stocked. Yeah, I bought up a lot before Christmas. I'm expecting a blizzard snow to get up. <laughs> What's this? Uh, I haven't heard of a blizzard or snow. No, but I said I always prepare in case one comes. Oh, uh, we won't starve here. It may not be exactly what we think we want. We may not be able to have lasagna in a storm. But we can have beans. We can have beans. We can have all kinds of noodles and potatoes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All so good. Now, Mama didn't want salad. No. She it's said, no. Nah, I was going to make her one. Mm-mm-mm. -mm. You wasn't interested in that nonsense, was you? No, not tonight. It's 12 o'clock in the day or one I've tried. You want six hours before you go to bed, don't you? I want more than this. <laughs> more than an hour before you go to bed? Hey, I may stay up a whole hour and a half. You may be up <laughs> at one o'clock. Mm -hmm. Mama's the night out now. I was up last night at one. 
One of my friends texted me last night at 11.30. Oh. And said, are you up? <laughs> so at 5 o'clock this morning, I text back, LOL. I haven't been in years. To 11.30. <clears throat> Was you trying to pay back? Why? At 5 o'clock in the morning. Well, they had to work. Oh. No, I wasn't being mean. I just knew they had to get up too. But 11.30. Mm -mm. <laughs> 9.30 maybe. But no 11.30. Mama, this is hitting the spot. Oh, I'm glad it is. Maybe I wanted this more than lasagna. That's mm. that like lasagna without the cheese. Actually, it's not, but we'll buy noodles. We'll still get lasagna. Lord willing. Mm. I love your lasagna. What is it on one of them shows? Jake Clank had said, told that Mr. Drysdale said, You stay up as late as you want to tonight. I said, You stay up to eight. Or even nine o'clock if you want to. <laughs> I'm not long, Lord. I'd be with Jed. I thought, what's this? <laughs> yeah. You stay up to eight or nine o'clock. You just said it pretty late, Mama. Mm -hmm. Some nights I do. And some nights you go to bed early. But, everybody gets in a rhythm. My rhythm's kind of sluggish. You know, I like to be up early in the morning. I want to get up. I feel good in the morning. Coffee's in the morning. Can't drink much coffee at night. Why stay up if you can't drink coffee? And I get up early. I can drink coffee. I can go sit on the porch. Well, it's too cold to get out on the porch. Not always. When it's up to 50, I'll put a coat on it and go up there and see it. Now, if it's down 30s and 20s, no. I'll go sit on our back, close down the porch, and turn the fireplace on. <laughs> <laughs> That's just as good, isn't it, Mama? Yeah. Good warm. <coughs> Got a little pepper. <clears throat> Look. I didn't even have a cup of coffee over here. I don't know what I've done with my cup of coffee. You got ice water in. Yeah. I've always got ice water, coffee, and sometimes tea. I know you've got mm. two big glasses of you all tea today. I know. I mean, in that big you all can. Glass. Hmm? I start out at 9 o'clock with a glass of tea. And then at lunch time, I had some more. Mm. All right, folks. We're just going to eat spaghetti. I'm eating my salad. And we're going to call it a night. Pinky says pray and healing. Someone may have had a prayer request. We'll go back and look and see. Yeah. Does mama's make homemade spaghetti sauce? She didn't tonight, Sandra. No. But we do. We often do. Takes a little while longer. I put on my thick house coat and sit on the porch. Do I? I would too, but I usually got to. I've got a fleece jacket. And it lasts for about a half a cup of hot coffee. About the time my coffee needs warm back up, it's time to come in because it's cold. So I run back in, get my hot coffee, and then oh, that's usually my time I spend on the porch. But I get 10 or 15 minutes, and that's, that's a good break sometimes. Just to relax and enjoy the morning, hear a bird or two, and uh, see, start the sun rise. 
Nice for a peaceful morning. Get yourself ready. You can talk to God. You can contemplate. You can meditate. You can thank the Lord for your blessings. It's a good time. It's a good time. I am on. Yeah. Mama's like, I don't know. I wasn't out there. I won't be out there in the morning. I'll be in my chair watching the beaver, or I'll be out back in front of the fireplace. I like sitting in front of the fireplace. And just sitting and enjoying the fire. Mommy, anything you want to add tonight? No, I just want to thank everybody again for all the wonderful gifts we got this year. All the beautiful cards. We get them all the time. Yeah. Y'all are so sweet and so special. It's just really, really special to me. It really is. Mama saves every card. She's got every... Every piece of paper, every gift, she keeps them. Um, she keeps them. And we appreciate y'all so much. I was right. just sitting there thinking out on my red table in the porch, I'm going to put the hot pads out there on the Oh, that will be pretty. And with the hot pads. And the walls are gray. Yeah. I'm just sitting here. they would be pretty out there. It will be pretty. Mm -hmm. We won't mess them up and gum them up. We'll try to well, preserve them. I will let you use them for sure. <laughs> but we'll display them. For looks. That's right. Beautiful work. All right, Mom. If you didn't get anything else, is that good night, Mama? Good night, Mama. God bless you. Y'all have a blessed night, Lord. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.